those who um, who are in business and who fight hard to stay in business, and ask senior levels of government to give them the assistance that uh, their efforts have merited. For the last 20 years or so, since the passage of the, the free trade of the Americas and NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, we have seen a tremendous explosion in North-South economic uh, feelings. And um, there was um, an agreement, an interprovincial agreement passed in 1995 that has uh, been languishing on the books. It, um, our our interprovincial trade has basically flatlined while our North South international trade has been booming. And so I would ask our federal government to turn some attention now to fostering East West trade between Canada's provinces that will bring prosperity to all of us and assist people who are struggling so hard to maintain an economic foothold here in Canada. I think our national survival depends on it. Thank you. So Grant, Council Gardner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I won't support this resolution because I don't think it, it's a real issue there. Uh, I mean, it sounds like something to come from an official opposition, not, not from a municipal council. And I say that for a number of reasons. One is, when I looked at the, uh, the change in the, the amount of hours you needed to qualify to bring extra goods back from the city. It went from 48 to 24 hours. And I had, did my own simple analysis on this, and I said, now would I drive over to the United States for 24 hours, probably have to take a hotel room, go through all this uh, meals, et cetera, to gain $150 worth of goods, which basically that's what you're going to get, is an extra $150. It'll probably cost me 200 to get any benefit from that $150. So to me, that's uh, a no-brainer. Whether it's 24 or 48 hours, it's not going to change the amount of people. What we have to do, in my estimation, is to ensure that the people in our Canadian customs do their job to ensure that people are legally bringing uh, merchandise back in our community. And the, all the studies that I've seen is, since we have a free trade agreement, our exports have increased, which meant more jobs in, the, in our country. So I, I don't support this because I don't think it means uh, anything at all.